Hey guys, this is Rock. Welcome back to my Vulcan tutorial series. This is episode 1 where we'll start our journey to drawing a triangle using Vulcan. Now, this video assumes that you have your Visual Studio environment set up, and if you don't, check out episode 0 where I walk you through it. The coding will be in the background and I'll sort of explain what I'm doing. So our first task will be to create an application class. We're going to remove the GLM temporarily now that we know it's been included in our projects. Our application class will have a run function calling the other functions. Init window, init Vulkan, main loop, and cleanup. In main, we'll create an instance of an application and call run. The application needs a window width and height as well as a GLFW window. We'll create the glfw window and in our main loop call glfw poll events. Finally, in our cleanup we need to destroy the window and our glfw context. Next up, we need a Vulkan instance which will be a connection between the application and the Vulkan library. The application class also needs a vk instance attribute which we'll make sure we destroy in our cleanup. We'll create a new function called create instance which we'll call in our init Vulkan. Now to create our create instance function we'll need to set the app info. You can name it whatever you like so I'm going with rock again and then just set our version to 100. We're going to retrieve all the required GLFW extensions and add KHR portability enumeration. If we run this now, you can see it outputs all the extensions to the console. That's another task done, next up is validation layers and debug messenger. We'll create a boolean for enabling validation layers and set it to true if we are running in debug mode. We need a function for creating and destroying our debug utils messenger. Now, validation layers are optional components that hook into Vulkan function calls and apply additional operations. Two more functions we need are a setup debug messenger and populate debug messenger create info, which will just improve our abstraction. We'll call setup debug messenger in init Vulkan and destroy in cleanup if we've enabled validation layers. We're going to change how we find the required extensions too.
For populating our debug messenger CI, we're going to accept all message types and severities. And now if we run it, we should get our validation layer messages in the console. You'll notice after each change, I'm making a push to the GitHub repo. Next, we need to choose a physical device, which will be the graphics card we are using. You can select multiple, but in this tutorial, we're going to be selecting the first one that meets our needs. We start off by creating a new struct, which will store an optional value for graphics family. We create new functions for pick physical device, which will enumerate the physical devices and find the first one that meets our requirements. By default, our physical device will be set to VK null handle. Then we create a function called isDeviceSuitable which returns a boolean based on if it has a graphics family value. We need the queue to have a graphics bit and later on we might also need it to accept a compute bit. Now we have a physical device, we need a logical device to interface with it. We create this in a similar way to our Vulkan instance and describe the features in the create info. In a new function called create logical device, set up the create info for a device queue which will take in the graphics family value. And then the create info for a device. After each change we're making, we're checking it still runs without errors. And don't forget to destroy VK objects in the cleanup function. Thanks to the debug messenger, we'll be able to see error messages in the console. And that's all I'll be covering this week. We're about halfway to drawing our triangle in Vulkan. You can join the Discord or follow me on X, Insta, Patreon or Coffee. Links are in the description and on my website. Leave a like if you enjoyed, dislike if you didn't, and comment the word Vulcan if you got this far in the video. As always, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!